Well, we all prepped up here. So as you can see, we just finished harvesting our babies, cut everybody down, and finishing even our top buckets. So as you know with these systems, there's always an inch or two of water that stays at the bottom. So the best way to clean it that I've found is you can either A, hook up a drain to the very end and flush it to uh, a drain somewhere else. Or I usually go games first, you go through all your buckets, clean off any residuals that might be on the inside. And after you've done that to all your all your buckets, you go down here, take this one, pour it in this bucket, and you toss it upside down so the gravity doesn't make the water go back up the hose. Go back on this one, pouring all that dirty water from one bucket to the next, and so forth. You end up running out of space. You know, it's a five gallon bucket here. Pour off into there. And you know, just keep going on down the line. Uh, it's the easiest way that I found it works. So that's it. Go again, go purple. Try the crop dock. Yo, crop dock here. Wanted to give you guys a step by step on setting up this new room. Um, we just cleaned it. This is our second run with these bucket systems. So if you just remember how we washed it, how we poured them out from here, da -da 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 -da, and got all the old water residue out of it. We flush the buckets, clean them out, and here they are lined up again. So first we always like to put hydrocorn, a good layer as you can see, just like an inch or two at the bottom. One 50 liter bag will fill all these 30 buckets, exactly how you need it. Then you just get one box of the micro grow down and fill it like so. I'll show you guys a little trick. Instead of flushing them or rinsing them like you need to now, because as you know, uh, the pH is different, so you have to adjust it. Uh, to acclimate before you transplant into it. Instead of doing that individually, just fill your buckets like this. And then when you fill your brain unit over here, you click feed, your brain unit is gonna fill up. The float valve is gonna fill it all the way through here. And it's a good way to pH your medium all at once. So we're gonna do that. Transplant in here in about 30 minutes. And it'll be officially day one, week one. Go green, grow purple. Yo, yo, crop dock here, and we are on day one, week one. We just sat down. As you can see, everybody's doing phenomenal. We're doing a Golden Oldie OG run right here. Pretty much everyone from the back to rows, all Golden Oldie. Now, Golden Oldie is a four way hybrid, so we had two different moms that were hybrid moms. One mom was um, Granddaddy Grape. So it's Granddaddy Perp crossed with Grape Bait, Granddaddy Grape. And we took that one and we crossed it with another one, which was Super Silver Haze crossed with Sour Diesel. So we got Super Sour Diesel crossed with Granddaddy Grape and we made, boom, Golden Oldie. So that's this phenomenal baby right here. And this is our Walter White OG, the first row. So as you can see, we got 30 under five. So we're doing six per. And uh, um, yeah, like pretty much following the feed. You know, we, they give them approximately a month under T5 veg. That's about it. As you can see, we have one, two, three, four, five, five bigger golden oldie moms. And they had approximately a month and a half, two months under T5. But everything's T5 veg. So it's day one, week one bloom. First time under HID lighting. And we're pretty much just going to let everybody do their thing for now. We're going to leave the lights as high as they are in a moment. Gonna, uh, so you see we bent down some of these other bigger branches. Everybody's pretty much going to grow another spot for the first week. Come week two, we're going to add our trellis. And after we add our trellis, we might actually bend these down a little bit more so that they lengthen with everybody else. And after we add our trellis on week two, we're going to train everybody to stay under a certain canopy height. As you can see, the canopy is pretty well filled in right now as it is, but we'll train branches like her to go, branches like her to go, and just really fill in all the gaps, get the most out of our lighting. But yeah, day one, week one bloom. Go green, grow purple. Kelly Crap Dog.
yo yo crop a lot here <laughs> day five week one bloom and we're about to install a truss I'm gonna show you guys we're just gonna do it the simple bamboo poles again so everybody's filling in very lovely all this gaps gonna get filled in but what you're gonna want to do is just take your uh, little bamboo sticks and you just create a border on the edges I always like to angle them outward so we're gonna run our we're gonna start with our trellis over here fold it over and go that way but we're gonna be able to go from this pole to this pole here and create like a little bed for this branch to go like hey everybody and then she's gonna be like oh how are you doing and they're gonna do the whole little girl thing um, yeah so as you can see we got pretty much every plant or every other plant has a little support stake in it and we're just gonna go all the way all the way to the jungle to the end it's gonna come in real handy over here as you can see this baby uh, we're gonna take her entire branch go so she's gonna be all awesome city but yeah we're gonna grab the trellis right now put it in so by week two bloom everybody's just gonna be like okay man okay man okay yeah that's it go green go purple yo 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 and we're back as you can see we've got our trellis on just use the bamboo post supports. As you can see our canopy has been severely controlled. We're gonna go tuck a couple branches back there. As you can see, pretty much what we did is we have it's day five, week one bloom. This is the last day we're gonna really want to be training and bending and doing any much stress to these babies. But as you can see right there, it's another example. We took her bent her do 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 and it's wove her in there. Just like we did her. We got these smaller ones, we're gonna have them fill in. That's why we're pretty much making the bigger ones down to match those heights. As you can see here, extremely this branch was like so we took her down, wove wove her under here, let's take her. Put her back up and she'll sit there and continue to grow, stretch out horizontally. As you can see, go back here. Pretty simple. You take a branch like this, pinch it, bend her over, and she's gonna get woven. Bam chicka bam wow. Right there. And that's where she's gonna stay. She's gonna grow this way towards the light and cola upwards right there. Same with these right here. Once they get a little bit taller, we we'll continue the process and have them just fan out. There you go. Make sure you get your Method 7 glasses or some kind of lens to filter out. Otherwise you're going to be looking like that. Go again, go purple. Yo, 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 here we are. Back at it. Day 1, week 2, bloom. As you can see, everybody's doing really well. They're starting to really perk up. See, we've been bending them down, tucking them under this trellis, really trying to control our canopy. We're doing an amazing job. So we're going to continue to slowly introduce our um, phosphorus to the plants. We're going to still keep the nitrogen, start tapering it off. Um, really just want to start building these flower sites and just getting as much light exposure as we can to what's there. So the next two weeks, we're going to start stripping and removing unnecessary plant sites, i.e. these babies if they don't start standing up. Yeah, so remember everybody in the back is our golden oldie, which is our exclusive four-way hybrid. We got our granddaddy perp crossed with our great babe, and that was one strain. And then that's crossed with the super silver haze that was crossed with the um, sour diesel as the second strain. So those two together, boom, makes the golden oldie. And right here we have our OG, the Walter. So, yeah, there you go. I'm going to change the res. Go green, go purple.
you can work or you can hustle What'll it be? Some drugs, the corporate thugs Money's the cause of our suffering The life that trees are leads A blueprint proven to boost your esteem Honest money's money to you, not me Now you can work or you can hustle What'll it be? Some drugs, the corporate thugs Money's the cause of our suffering The life that trees are leads A blueprint proven to boost your esteem Honest money's money to you, not me So I never clocked in The change is still playing in around inside my pockets Don't drop at the hot potato And NATO's the man with a loss of profit Let's run for rock ourselves over time Putting a stop to crime Let's not forget that time is money, I'm here to cop a dime Watching behind, stitches of living by dropping their dimes As poverty thrives, so buying property, polishing rides Bling bling, this little switch with greed on the rise Politicians, the businessmen, dig as the ditches and swine Mechanically working the nine to five, doing same power and pride Cowards have died for less, a test we can't afford to mine I was born behind the veil of uncertainties, working to die As a professional go-getter, it's a gimmick to gamble with life Holding a manable tight, open a can if you like it, the food that you can't buy You bluffing, to be honest, your honest money's getting you honestly nothing Scruff my graphing, and next hustler no longer hustling Cause when you're leaving the game, you're either gone, don't doubt or bust. You can work or you can hustle. What'll it be? Some drugs, the corporate thugs. Money's the cause of our suffering. The life that trees are leads to blueprint proven to boost your esteem. Honest money's money to you, not me. Now you can work or you can hustle. What'll it be? Some drugs, the corporate thugs. Money's the cause of our suffering. The life that trees are leads to blueprint proven to boost your esteem. Honest money's money to you, not me. You can work or you can hustle. Hustle, hustle. Work or you can hustle. Hustle, hustle. You can hustle, hustle, hustle. Yee! Hustle, hustle. Hustle, hustle. Hustle, hustle. Just keep hustling, dog. Are you serious, man? Yo, 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 yo. Here we are, Crop Doc. We're back. This is day one, week three, Blooms. Want to show you guys how we're doing. Boom, 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 boom. We're doing lovely. Look how great they're filling in. Remember about five days ago, we just came in here and we just bent everybody down. Da, 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 da. But as you can see, they're standing on right up still. Uh, I just wanted to point out this little issue this plant's been having. This is a genetic thing. It's like For the last year, we haven't been able to get it to go away. Um, there's a little bit of compound going on here, so it's not on all of them, but... We have two main moms, one of the moms right there and one of the moms right here. This is the last time flowering them, so, but yeah, so in case any of you are looking at that, you can see what that is, you're wondering about it. But um, yeah, everybody's doing great. What we're gonna do is we're gonna continue to bend these down, as you can see like right here. So she's poking up, continue to take her. Double bend. Have her go down underneath this trellis, boom. And there you go, levels her out. So we're gonna keep doing that. Level down the trellis all the way and change the res. Day one, week three. See, this is all the golden oldie. And we have the front buckets, the OG. Seen the girl really well together. See that one branch right there, she really wants to get bent down. As you can see, she's got a couple knuckles already on her. And she's been previously bent. So we can actually just tie a weight to her and put her under this trellis. We're gonna install another trellis here, probably about five or six days of the week. Yeah, I just wanted to give you guys an update. Remember last time, a couple days ago, we were in here and we were really leveling this canopy out, trying to squish everything, keep it all level. We have our bigger plants on the sides, considering they get the least amount of light anyways, so the taller plants can tower over. But yeah, I just want to show you guys see how they're already growing up over the tops where we put them last time. So what we're going to do is we're going to take little branches, we're going to keep tucking them down here, do a little pinch. Like this, put her under the trellis and train her. Let her grow up through the trellis up the top. We're going to continue to doing that throughout the whole canopy. She has a couple of them over here. Right there, they can be top down. Along here, they can be top down. So yeah, but everybody's doing really great. They're really starting to fill in. So our light penetration is really awesome. You can see there's right here, there's a gap. So that's what you want to do. The whole purpose is trying to get the maximum out of the light that you're putting out. So you're going to want to make sure you train these. Boom, this branch right here works perfect. You take her down, go under, bada bing. All these are going to stand out. It's just day one, week three. So we still have they're still getting um, their tapered amounts of nitrogen, so they're still going to be growing. 
substantial amount. You, never, you don't want to cut out the nitrogen too quick just because you put them in bloom. That's a common mistake early growers do. Like, oh, I'm blooming my plants now. I want to take away my nitrogen. No, they still need nitrogen. Nitrogen is very important for the growth. So you just want to taper everything. Um, yeah, right now, that's what we're doing. We change the res, day one, week three. We're going to um, keep taking off all these little teeny leaves down at the bottom that we don't need. They're just taking up energy. So you can see everything. That's ideal. So she is perfectly lovely, nice and crisp and clean. So that's what we're going to continue to do. This one right here, none of this is going to do anything, so we're going to strip her down. And yeah, that's it. Kali Crop Talk out. Sign up while you still can For the most educated class there is Hey pretty ladies, got your lips lined up Outside standing like dominoes, your hips lined up Lined up like it's the honor roll So dip right up, right up in the middle Making all the kids sign up Hey, hey pretty ladies, got your lips lined up Outside standing like dominoes, your hips lined up Lined up like it's the honor roll So dip right up, right up in the middle Making all the kids sign up. Hey. Yo, 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 here we are, Crop Doc, and we're back. Day one, week four. I'll show you how everybody's doing. If you see, man, we got our golden oldies and our OGs up front. And everybody's stripped, doing real lovely. We got all that energy focusing towards the top. Boom! We got three rows of ten. You see right there, it's double bucket, baby. I'm gonna show you here in a second. But get on up to the top. As you can see, all the tops are really starting to stand up. We do a lot of top or a lot of bending, a lot of tucking, trying to get the sights that we really want to be seen to be seen. Um, we're gonna about to get some more bamboo stakes and pull this truss. So you can see, we want to pull it over just a little bit. Get some of those OGs to fill in right here. Um, right now we only got the one trellis on here, we're going to add another trellis. We're going to keep it about right here and follow this line right at the top and they're going to end up growing into it. But yeah, so all of our golden oldies, all of our OG. just want to show you something on this baby right here. It's one of our moms that we popped in here. You can see she's starting to yellow a little bit. She's starting to show signs of sadness. And we're like, why is, why is she the only one that's showing deficiencies or toxicities or anything when it's all the same strain, all being fed the same thing? And we went down to look, and she was totally root bound. So the good thing about these bucket systems is that all we had to do is, here's the first bucket, all we had to do is add another bucket with another two inches of chum and hydrogen, and we just popped right on top. But yeah, so that was the common sign. You see the plant just had no space for the roots to absorb anything we are giving it. You see over here, like they're just really filling in. The golden oldie again. The yellow hair is really starting to come on. The white hairs, the yellowing is new growth. It's gonna be a nice cola here. So yeah, day one, week four, of the change the red res around again. And yeah, our pink bin. See, she always starts pink and early as a genetic thing. Nice purple coming in, all the tops. Boom, there you go. Go green, grow purple. Yo, 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 here we are, back, day one, week five. Give you guys an update, see how everybody's doing. Boom. So everybody's really starting to fill in. Remember, it's our golden oldie in the back. The 
OGs in the front. Look at these colas really starting to pack on. It's gonna be dense, super frosty. So we just got done giving them a little flush. Clear X. Now we're making up the res now. See everybody's been placed lovely. The light spread. There's no gaps in between. So right now it's really crucial to make sure like when you have branches like this that she stays where she goes. She stays where she goes. Oh, look, see the crystal on this OG is really starting to come in. Remember the golden oldie right behind this OG right here? Wasn't doing so well last time. Um, so we added another bucket to the bottom. And she's really starting to pick back up. Got some new green growth coming on here. You know, the old leaves will never fully repair themselves, so it's always good to get the old leaves that are dying off. Um, and just allow the new growth to really pull up. See, that's her when she's healthy. Boom, boom, boom. But yeah, that's it. We're gonna start with our top booster. We're debating now. Look at all the overall health. That's one of the mid-bloom initiators. So you want to make sure that your plants are really into their bloom before you do that. If, if the nugs aren't really formed, you'll end up with a little marble size. Like some of these little OGs over here, um, they take a little bit longer than the golden oldie. The golden oldie just is really quick growth. So we might want to wait a little bit before we put that in there, just out of sake for the OGs here. They'll be fine. Everybody's you know, doing great. But yeah. Go green, go purple. That's it. Trees been growing, I've been cloning trees.